actually is a poem by W. H. Actually, we it's sort of appropriate. It's it's a um, poem by W. H. Auden that we put uh, to music, and it's called "If I Could Tell You," and it has to do with uh, the idea that. Time being what it is, everything is pretty much unpredictable. Would you like to elaborate on that or uh, uh, make it a little bit more coherent <laughs> that I just already muddied the waters and we haven't even started? So, you know. That's, you know. Can you hear us now? Okay. Okay, so we're on. I don't know how we got muted there, but we were. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cool people got it. Did, did you, the... was Bruce's uh, introduction? Bruce, okay. why don't you try again? Okay, so we're going to start with a poem that we set to music. It's a poem from W.H. Auden, mm -hmm. and um, the poem is called If I Could Tell You. And it's basically, uh, you know, time will tell um, or time won't tell. <laughs> right. I would go with that second yeah, time interpretation. Won't tell, the, I think... um, the refrain, which you'll hear a bunch of times, is time will say... Don't give it away. I was never... Yeah, yeah I was. But okay, I won't give it away. <laughs> I, you'll, you'll, but you'll hear the refrain. Yeah. Um, we enjoy this, uh, the, the lines in this because they, they double really well as um, good lines for marital bickering. So um, you might see a little bickering. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, but we have to try hard to do that. Okay, I mean, oh, so we, we never what, what, bicker. Like, no, no, of no. course not. No, but um, that comes at the end. Well, okay, shall we? Uh, you can call this one in.
Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> I like that. That's a new a new Zoom the response. Zoom, is that right? a Zoom yeah. thing, really? <laughs> I gotta do a guitar switch That's here. That's good. That's good. So the oh I should okay. So, so while he uh switches instruments, I'll tell you what's what's up next. This is something that um <clears throat> it it's a it's a little bit of bit of whimsy here. It's from a poem that you may have heard of, written by Jenny Joseph, um, called Warning. And it is the poem uh, on which the Red Hat Society is based. So it's the, po it's the line that starts, when I am an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat that doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And it goes from there. And um, Bruce kind of got possessed of this poem and um i'll admit i wasn't nice we got this poem <laughs> somebody said could you put this poem uh, to music and marla had just put the previous <clears> two <throat> and i said uh, uh stand away from the poem stand away from the any rate so uh but uh it's everything is pretty much a joint accomplishment with us or a joint whatever and and i'd like to think about this poem as kind of like the empowerment of age. Somebody talked about the declining years, not in terms of decrease in function, but I declined to do this, I declined to do that, and I declined, and I and now that I'm solidly in that, uh, well, I've always been to a certain degree, but it's been accentuated with age, and so. Jeez, you bet. <laughs> so, <laughs> why don't we play uh, <laughs> before we talk again? Uh, okay, so. Uh, let me see, because, yeah, why don't I do it, uh, well, give me two seconds, let me just get repositioned, because, in guitar, yeah. oh. guitar assault <laughs> position, here, wait, okay, here we go, is, is that okay? Um, not really, but that's okay, oh, okay, I'll, I'll well, be all right. 
Oh, you're so forbearing <laughs> of me. Okay, so it has a proper British introduction, then it degenerates completely. Anyway, here we go, shall we? Grounded. The red hand that doesn't go and doesn't really suit me. And I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and sad sandals and say we've no no money for butter. <laughs> my stick along the public railings. Yeah, and make up for the sobriety of my youth. I shall go out in my slippers in the rain and pick Fun. 
Yes, so now we go from the ridiculous to the sublime, but we quickly get back to the ridiculous, actually, I think. Is that a fair depiction? Yeah, I um, think so. So you want to give the nonfiction version of the first one? And, uh, <laughs> Can everybody hear okay? Are we doing all right? Are we got everybody? Okay, uh, great. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> and I want some of what Hazel's having. That's what I want. Where? How do you see what yes. Hazel's there? Oh, Hazel. I see Hazel. Hazel's there in the in the middle. She Hazel. Hazel. She's What's out of pesto noodles. Pesto noodles. Pesto. Okay. I want to eat them with my hands too. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> yes. So the first you want to do the first uh, Emily because you have a better uh, sense of that one. Uh, the, the, the so we're gonna play a little medley. Yes, we are. Of um, of a couple of tunes. The first is a waltz. So anybody wants to dance, don't hold back. And um, this is a waltz written by our friend John Whelan. Uh, he calls it Trip to Sky. And um, full disclosure, we play it backwards and in the wrong key. But other than that, it's just the way he wrote it. <laughs> Whereas it's followed by a a real R E E L uh, boogie or that actually uh, Marla wrote, uh, which is an homage to her cat. Now, a show of hands, how many of you have ever played rhapsodizing anything that gave you an asthma attack? Show of hands. Okay, I guess I'm the. All right, but at any rate, Marla has a, a little bit of a mythology about her then cat. Uh, that uh, it, it was a superhero. Sure. Yeah. You want to take it from here because I may say something. But when he he would disappear at night, not unusual for a cat, right? He would, and he would reappear in the morning, very nonchalant, and he'd sort of come strutting in. But um, I do believe that he's actually actually was a superhero, and that at night he would, uh, when no one was looking, he would put on his cape and take off on his rounds and protect these small creatures o over the streets of Oakland. And then eat them. And have a few nibbles on a few, yes, yes while he was at. Uh, yes, yeah. the protectors mm -hmm. kind yeah. of a joint mission. We so. never got the Chalupa cam working, so we don't know for sure. But anyway, the, it's Captain Chalupa is the name of the tune. So. And the name of the cat, the name of the tune, and so, well, it's an... <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, ready, right, let's see what
could hear it right in the sound hole. It's like, ah. Ow, ow, ow. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oops, I need this still. Ah, uh, you do. Okay, and I may have a little. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I may have a little <laughs> bit of tuning to do. Oh, thanks, Julie. So, um, I'll chat while he tunes. Get him occupied, and then I can get. <laughs> I can say whatever I want, right? Um, so this is a, a song that Bruce has sung. Um, with Marion. Yeah, with Marion, who's here on the call. And uh, I was going to say, since before before we ever did it together, it was a, 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 a uh, much requested song from Bruce. Um, it's written am. by. Um, uh, it's not written by Leon Redbone. No, who, who wrote it? Don't know. Oh, I actually, it was kind of one hit wonder of songs. Well, Leon, forgot the... Leon Redbone popularized it. And it's called I Want to Be Seduced. And it's. Or it's just called Seduced. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's a delightful um, fantasy um, on the part of the, the less than um, uh, less than commanding presence. How, how do I put this? Uh, well, this is something I, you know, call it a life quest. Uh, <laughs> something I can slip in very, very easily. And Marion, uh, uh, Marion and I sang it together, and in the middle, uh, we, we, we haven't been able to replace this aspect of Marion's participation, it was the kazoo solo uh, that happens in the middle, so it would that we could have figured how, how to do that, but... So, with that... Shall we do it? Absolutely. Okay.
just, oh, sorry. Maybe someday you yeah, will. Yeah, but, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it, Lord knows. Uh, so, so. How are we doing for how time? How are we doing for time? You guys are doing great. Cool. All right. Uh, one more? One more? Yeah. We'd love it. Okay. I was great. Hoping, we'd hope it, we were hoping you would say that, so. And thank you, Terry. Well, Just saw your yeah. comment. Thanks so much. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, we're gonna do a, a silly song, a song that we. Um... <laughs> what? You put this one to music, really? And, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so this was a poem, is a poem, by Edna St. Vincent Millay called uh, "Recuerdo," uh, which means a souvenir. And um, it's just a, a a sweet memory of a a sweet caper staying up all night and riding the ferry around New York Harbor, or presumably around New York Harbor, we don't really know for sure, and uh, having little adventures and um, blowing all your money and saving just enough to get home on the subway uh, in the morning. So, <laughs> and, and this is a, a, a participatory number. Um, it has a, a, a line that we need you to say, and it's a it's a little echo it's a response so every time we say on the ferry we want you to go on the ferry so we'll be watching your mouths to see if you're doing it <laughs> uh, 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 on four four syllables on the word on okay very important uh... and, and if you miss it the first time there was only about 18 repeats yeah. of that <laughs> uh, of that phrase and um so um I got the impression these people were not entirely, let's say, what's the word I'm looking for? Sober when they're going around and round on the ferry. But uh, well, that's uh, your that's your interpretation. It's my interpretation. You be the judge. Um, but whatever it is, a rollicking good time was had around the ferry. So, so. Um, Sorry, just a moment. And so, any rate, it's always better when you tune. You think? Okay, I will try it. Okay. Well, but thank you. <laughs> if you tune successfully, that is. <laughs> but, but thank you for letting us be with you today. This is, this has been this has been nice. I mean, this is. Uh, um, I don't think we've played a concert like this before. I hope it's uh, you know all coming through and everything like that. And there it is. Oh. Here we go. Here we go.
shovel-covered head. We bought a morning paper, neither of us read it, and she wept. God bless you for the apples and the pears. Gave her all our money but our subway fares. We were very tired. We were very merry. We had gone back and forth all night on the ferry. What do you think, Julie and Amina? Time for one more. I'm. I would love it. You guys, how, how are you two feeling? Time for one more. We're, we're sure. like we're ready to I go. I did the 12th. So you did. I thank you. I owe you huge. On You're, that welcome. Because, You're welcome. You're uh, welcome. But but, but uh, yes. Sure. So, um. Sure. Great. This is a uh, one from our new album too, even. Yeah, this, our new album that's not doesn't exist yet. Yeah, it doesn't exist, but in our minds. Mm -hmm. No, actually, some of it on tape. It's a twinkle yeah. in our Pro Tools. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a, uh... Tell us the name of your forthcoming release. Well, our working title, our title yeah, our, uh, is... Um, Every Migrant is Our Fellow. My Fellow. Every migrant is my fellow. <laughs> a working title, as you said. I got said. most of it. I mean, that was a working title. We, we were working out the first person uh, singular plural here, but other than that, actually, no. It's, it's, uh, but that's how we feel. Every migrant is our. Uh, but um, this which, is. Which is um, a line from um, one of the songs, which comes from a poem, uh, which is actually about. It's, it's interesting. Most of the. The theme that that sort of twines through the material is the theme of separation, um, uh, being separated from some place you love, a place you call home, uh, someone you love um, who you can't be together with. It's kind of uh, topical in that way, but the material, most of it is quite old. Um, so that particular poem is from, um, oh, <laughs> uh -huh. is is from a, a a pair of poets named uh, Bliss Carmen and Richard Hovey, who wrote um, a series of three books called Songs from Vagabondia, more songs from Vagabondia, and that's about it for Vagabondia. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, last songs from Vagabondia. Last right, songs, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's from one of theirs. Um, well, we're not playing that one now. Uh, no. but, uh, we're we're going to play um, Thousands Are Sailing. Actually, this one's tropical because this uh, is, is this traditional that two or three Irish groups actually revised, or is this somebody wrote it and two or three groups mm. revised it? No, it's uh, a traditional set of lyrics okay. that um, sometimes people put their own melody to a set of old lyrics. Um, which is the case. Which is what we did. Yeah. And uh, this, and the refrain is thousands are sailing to America. And it's highly topical because if there was another verse and they knew what was going on, it's like, can we come back now? You know, so, uh, so, um, and, no, take your time. But, uh, let's see, so. There we go. And we uh, pair it with a polka. Um, it's a polka has a name. Yes, it's one of the, um, it's the second of the Glen Cottage polkas. So, for those of you following along. <laughs> it's called Glen Cottage 2, the sequel? What's it, wait, what's it? What's it, what's it what's well, there's a, two polkas called the Glen Cottage polkas that oh, were recorded by Jackie Daly. 
uh, music from Schlieve Lucre, which is a, a, a western uh, the in the southwest of Ireland where um, they play a lot of polkas and slides and and it's a it's a Gweltacht, which means they uh, still speak Irish as their native language there. Um, so it's an interesting part of the country. It is, and, and you're going to be hearing the, the, the last iteration of this particular song, which has been an evolution for the past few months, actually. So, so um...
her far distant strand that live in old Ireland no longer can stay. And thousands are and lovely to see you all here thank you yeah thank you for joining us really truly a pleasure i wish uh oh, i wish we could yeah. all be together yeah this Someday time we will. Here, you know. <laughs> thank you so much marla and bruce and doing the second lunch and listen for the Westmoreland Seniors and the San Geronimo Valley Community Center and Honor Bread and Roses. We really appreciate all the beautiful music, especially today. Music to save our democracy by, right? Yeah. Time to go check the news report. Yeah, yeah. I was still there when we, you know, yeah, exactly. We're in the background there. It's pretty thank grim. Thank you very much. That was really lovely. I really appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.